سوف نبقى هنا كي يزول I'm Matthew Millen, a documentary filmmaker. And while traveling throughout the east of Libya to document the uprising, I was astounded at what I saw. There's an explosion of creativity through the arts and music that is just staggering. And this despite 42 years of devastation wrought upon them by neglect. But the most amazing thing I saw was the vibrant music movement in Benghazi. It is on a scale that I could not believe. Scores and scores of all different types of bands uh, traditional folk music, hip-hop, metal, uh, just regular rock and roll, all of this coming together to finally give voice to what was pretty much a lost generation. Now they're found again. Yeah, but uh, this is still due for all the metalheads in Benghazi, no? All the metalheads? Yeah, so I'm you can jam in here, play guitar, and play drama. You know, it's really only those who are drowning who understand the value of breathing. And this is exactly what I'm seeing in this movement, in this artistic, this musical movement. And while I was walking through the ruins of the ancient Greek city of Kyrene, it occurred to me, a music festival, that would be a great, a great vehicle for the rest of the world to see this Libyan movement and a vehicle for the Libyans themselves to celebrate the revolution because it wasn't just only a physical revolution, it was a revolution of the mind. And this music festival is the best way I could think of to celebrate it. And so I'm going back to Libya in a few weeks to secure a location and really make this festival happen. Now the word from my contacts in Benghazi now is this is a very feasible project and it can be done, but I have a short time frame because I want this festival to start on the year anniversary of the revolution, February 17th. And for three days, this festival will illuminate a liberated Libya to the rest of the world through the arts. This festival is really for the Libyan people who have been deprived of events like this for so long. It will also raise funds to help with the crumbling infrastructure, particularly the hospitals, which are in a state of absolute disrepair. What we'll really need is around $2,500, which goes into operating expenses while we're in Libya. Those who contribute will receive a variety of perks. For instance, a DVD of the We Win or We Die documentary, a uh, producer's role on the documentary about the music festival, or even becoming a board member of the festival. We're also looking for anybody who can help with volunteering, uh, with any type of donations, donations of equipment that's going to be needed. And this is such an exciting new initiative, and when I thought about it in April and May, I was so amped about it, because for my love of music, and also to see this whole society coalesce through the arts and music overnight, this is the positive aspect I want to focus on, not the death and destruction. This is focusing on a triumph of the human spirit, that it could never be truly extinguished by the 42 years of oppression. I truly believe in this festival because what binds us all is music, and the Libyans now have a voice to be heard. Thanks so much for your support, and I'll see you in Libya. Revolution in the sands, a people not afraid, revolution all stands, revolution.